really want to get another piercing. <gasps> okay, let's try it on. Let's try it on. Then people are laughing at me filming. <laughs> this is accidentally turning into just like a date night guide in Austin. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 8, I think from my new home, which I'm so thankful for. I've moved the desk to this window as like a makeshift vanity slash desk where there's good light and I've used board games <laughs> to make my mirror proper height. I've just spent the morning getting ready a little bit <clears throat> and I have to film one non-YouTube thing and just do a couple emails before we strike out today. But I have a mission and a goal today to do a DIY Christmas gift, DIY. It's a Christmas gift that will require a scavenger hunt and some crafting. So for Jacqueline and, oh, by the way, Jacqueline Mark, click out of this video right now. Do not watch the rest of this video. In case you're watching this, click out right now. This whole video is about your present, okay? Okay. So what I wanna do for them for Christmas, like their favorite thing is a date night. They don't get a lot of them with their work schedules, but they're also on that like newlywed budget. So I wanted to make them a little book of date nights to where it's like a photo album or a scrapbook or whatever, and each page is a little gift card with a little different date night idea around Austin. So like, for example, there's a spot called the Cidercade, which I love, it's on the water, and it's like arcade games and cider. Cute date night. There's a little like cute mini golf spot. Um, I wanna get them gift cards to a couple of their favorite restaurants, their favorite like margarita spot, and then, I, and then I'm gonna Google a few more ideas, but to where they can flip through it and have however many little date nights. Um, I think that that would just be a cute gift. And since it's for both of them, I can like double my budget and like really go all out and get quite a few date night ideas. So in order to do that, I need to go to Target, get the supplies and then go all around town and just pray that all these spots have gift cards and then come back here and put it all together. But do you know what else I really wanna do? I don't know why I've had this hankering I really want to get another piercing. I figure I'll probably go to South Congress for at least a couple of the date night gift cards because South Congress is where so many fun things are. And there's a studs on South Congress. I don't know if they take walk-ins though, or if I need to like try to make an appointment, but I kind of feel like that would just be really fun. I am going to respond to those couple emails, get dressed, film that other thing that I need to do for not YouTube. And then um, that's kind of our plan for the day. I just finished filming and the squirrel has been sitting here staring at me through the window the whole time I've been filming. Hello. Hi. Thank you for being my audience of one, actually. Audience of two. <laughs> Okay, I'm here making a gift card game plan and there's a few spots where I can only get online gift cards. So I've ordered them and I've put them in a document that I'm gonna go to probably like a, like a UPS and print that out to have it. So I got a virtual driving range. They both love to do that. I got an urban drive-in movie theater ticket where you like park on a rooftop and so you have the skyline and it's a drive-in movie. I'm printing out other gift cards that I got other people for gifts. And then I got ax throwing. You could do a whole hour and a half of ax throwing for only $35 and you can bring up to six people. And then in person, I wanna to go to Cidercade, mini golf. There are a couple favorite restaurants and see what else is just on South Congress. I feel like I should maybe find one more to print. I'm gonna do a little more research because I want it to feel like a book, you know? Like they could like do this for a while. Ooh, I just thought of the perfect thing, but they only have in-person gift cards. There's a spot in Austin called Bolden Acres, and it's like really cool pickleball courts, and you also can eat and drink there. And Jacqueline and Mark met because they play tennis. Um, and so, you know, they're great at pickleball. So we got a lot of places to stop. I say let's do Target first, get that out of the way, and then do all the South Congress and restaurant locations and see how long that takes. I also might go pick up packages from Jacqueline's apartment. I've had some of my stuff be shipped there. Busy, busy day, ready, set, go, let's go. So slim pickings, I think my best option is actually just like a photo album like this. And I could put, you know, like a little descriptor up top and the gift card down bottom of each page. But there's this on the front 
this dog. So on my app, real quick, I'm designing this. It just says date night book for JJ and Mark from Moco and Jord. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can also print that out at UPS to put in the front. Maybe I should do a cute background color. Let's see. Oh no, that makes it that makes it too obvious. And I can't find any cute paper, but I found these file folders that have quite a few for $3.99. They're really girly, which is a bummer, but um, just to like put, you know, write on and put the gift cards on. So I might get these and cut them up. I feel like it's really slim pickings here. It's kind of hard to find crafty things. This is accidentally turning into just like a date night guide in Austin. So, oops, guess that's what this video is. But this is Bolden Acres. There's like, there's food trucks, there's a restaurant and bar. Um, I learned to book pickleball courts. You have to get the reservation online. So I just got that. I'm also gonna print that out at UPS. But um, I wanted to share, I forgot Cidercade. I forgot how affordable it is. The patio is beautiful, but it's literally $10 to go. And you play unlimited games. The games don't take tokens or anything. I think they just hope you buy cider and pizza, but you can go have like an epic date night for 10 bucks and play so many games and sit on that gorgeous patio. And so that's a really good thing to do. If you're looking for a date night on a budget in Austin, people are laughing at me filming. <laughs> this job's really humbling sometimes. Okay, on to the next. So this is Jacqueline and Mark's favorite restaurant, Matt's El Rancho. I think they really just like their margaritas, but they are closed for a private event today. So I just bought another one online. So I'm about to go print out most of these online, but I got cute little um, scrapbooky things for a couple of spots. Like I got this uh, business card from Bolden Acres to put in there. And I got a little scorecard from mini golf to put in there. And here's what I'm thinking. South Congress has the ice cream so I can write like grab an ice cream and walk South Congress. They also have my favorite little grocery store. This was another thing Jordy and I did on our first date. It's called the Tiny Grocer. I wanna get them a gift card there and say like pick out picnic supplies and take to Zilker Park. Those are both South Congress. What was the other South Congress thing? I, was there another one? Um, maybe get my ears pierced. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, that makes nine pages. I feel like maybe I should round it off with 10. So maybe I'll just see what else is on South Congress, but the rest are very like intentional, maybe a coffee shop. That's always fun, like get a Saturday morning coffee and pastry situation. Let's go to South Congress. It's 80 degrees and I was getting really hot in my pink fuzzy cardigan, but lucky for me, I never unloaded my hanging clothes. So I still had all my hanging clothes and my trunk. So I threw on my big old vintage shirt. I gotta go get an ice cream gift card. Jenny's gift card machine was broken today. So I did Joe's coffee instead, same date concept, grab a coffee and walk South Congress. And now I'm just walking towards Stubbs. I don't know if I'm gonna chicken out. I don't know if they're too busy today, but they do take walk-ins I saw online. So we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I did it. Here's what it looks like. Here's, here's the third. She did it. I feel like the third hurt a little more than the second because it's like slightly more cartilagey. Look at how swollen it already is. <sighs> but it'll be so fun to like triple stack. Like I could do two hoops and then a stud, which would be really cute. I'm really glad I did it. It was very fun. And then I was walking back to my car and I passed, um, 
home slice pizza, which I know Jacqueline and Mark love. It's like Austin's pizza spot, but they don't do gluten free. So I don't think I've ever eaten there. Um, but I got a cute little gift card because I figured that's, it's $4 a slice. So I just got them a $15 gift card, but you know, a little like late night snack date night. So we have a lot of gift cards. I was also picking up cute little things like if they had stickers, I would get a sticker so that we can make it a little more aesthetic, hopefully. And I'm about to run into, you can't see it, USPS to print out, no, UPS to print out the rest of the gift cards. And I'm really close to Jacqueline, so um, I think I'm going to call and see if I can pick up packages. I think she's working from home today. And also if I could bring her a coffee because, I don't know, that would probably make her day a little bit happier. Let's hope I can print all of those things. And then after I pick up packages, I am done with errands. It's three o'clock. It's like four hours, give or take. It's not bad. I honestly thought it would take longer to do all of those stops. Do y'all want to be on it? I look like trash, but... No, you don't. You actually look so good. <laughs> Work from home day. Also, you just literally got over the most deathly stomach virus. Should I even be here? I was down. Is it still in the air? I'm gonna show the y'all's Christmas tree. Our then. Beautiful it's tree. so good. They got a real live Christmas tree. And I like your little houses. Thank you. Lights up. And I like your little Christmas Thank truck. Thank you. Yeah. Everything's uh, very cute. Side note, Mark also fainted yesterday. You fainted? Oh my gosh, yeah. It was that bad? Yeah, well I was up like sick as a rat. Just on the toilet and then I was like man I think I need to throw up and I got off and I get like on my knees and I just woke up on the floor like this. Did you throw up? No. Not okay then. I would rather pass out than throw up. Okay well yeah. that was yesterday guys. Yesterday. Okay bye. <laughs> okay we're about to commence crafting corner but before we do that I'm really excited to open this. Um, <laughs> I did not know Mark was sick yesterday. I've been planning in my head. I've been waiting to pick up my packages because I wanted enough time to pass since Jacqueline's been sick because this stomach bug that's been going around has been brutal for everyone. Like Mark said, he literally passed out yesterday. It was so bad. And I didn't know that he was sick yesterday. So I just sanitized this package, Clorox, the whole thing, wash my hands. I'm normally not a germ freak unless it's a stomach bug. Then I am the biggest germ freak you'll ever meet. Like I said, I got a shirt and two pairs of pants, and then I got some things for Max. From Madewell, yes, you'll see. Okay, first, excited to see how these fit. I wanted more just like wide leg pants. So I got the curvy, perfect, vintage, wide leg jean in tall. Okay, that looks like ample wide leg. Um, I'm gonna try that on. Let's hop to the mirror. I size down, because I know that they normally run a little big, but I wish I sized down too, because that's, I don't know, but I would always rather have pants run a little loose because you could belt it and then, you know, they're a lot more comfortable than be a little too small. So I might keep these. I love the length. I love the wide leg. I love the rise. They're so, so high rise. Like my belly button is here. <laughs> if they fit, I would give these a 10 out of 10, but I feel like the fit is a little off. So eight out of 10. Tall, 24, curvy, perfect, vintage, straight jean. Oh, straight jean. Those are wide leg, these are straight, but I bet the waist is probably similar. So let's see how those fit. Okay, weird. These are the exact same size. I feel like there's they fit the waist a little bit better. There's still a little room, but I feel like it's less than the other one. These are not quite as wide leg and they also don't feel quite as long, even though that they're both tall. Maybe it's just the way that the fabric fits, but very comfortable. I like the wash, it's like, I don't know if you can really tell the difference on camera, but this is more of like a charcoal where the other one's more of like a black black, but they're both very comfortable and have room to grow. My other pants I got a while ago. I've been trying to actively put on weight. So those are now running a little tight. So I'm trying to size to my current size. So, you know, maybe these will be a good, a good move, room to grow. And then this was just on super duper duper sale. And I thought it was really cute. It's like a cropped corduroy little button down shirt colored shirt situation. So let's see how that one looks on. Here's the shirt buttoned up. It's very cute, but I actually feel like I'd wear it like a jacket, probably unbuttoned with a tank. So let's try that real quick. I like that. It's very like cool girl, you know, very like casual, chill, cool girl. I don't know if all these things are sold out because the sale I know like was a while ago and you know, popped off. So if they're still in stock, I'll try to link them for you. But 
These pants are comfy. I will give them that. And then, like I said, I got some things for Max. These bandanas were like three or four dollars and normally they're pretty pricey. And I've been missing Max's bandana days. Yes, this is for you. You want to you want up up? You want to see what I got? Up up? Up up? There he goes. Okay, this is the first one. Isn't that cute? Max, you want to choose which one you want? I'll open them all and then you can choose. I think that that's precious. Ooh, this one's kind of the best of both worlds, bud, because it's navy and it has that big... What do you think? He's right here, by the way. This one? <gasps> okay, let's try it on. Let's try it on. <gasps> you are so handsome. Let's see. Oh, okay. You are so handsome. We're going to go to the vet. Yet another update. This Thursday, in two days, about his little pink mouth and pink paws. I think he's just allergic to something. Sit. Show them how cute you are. Oh, you are so precious. You're so precious in your bandana. So the sun's rapidly setting, the day's getting away from me, but I'd like to try to craft as much of this as possible. I think that this is gonna be the perfect size, printed out in here. And I also snagged some stickers. Most of these are really cheesy. I think I'm gonna literally only use the pizzas in hindsight. Oh, maybe the popcorn for a movie, but you know, for the pizza place I got, where's the popcorn? Where did that go? Movie theater. We'll see which other ones are applicable. This is a perfect size scale. Cut this to be our front cover, and then we'll make page by page, and I'll probably show you the outcome. Okay, let's see how this looks. Perfect size. And it goes. The date night book. I just whipped that out on my phone real quick. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Okay, so a lot of the things printed out real big, but I kind of figured like I'll cut this out and like a little logo out. And what I'm picturing is each page have like go pick up coffees and walk self congress. And then the lower one will be the gift card and then vice versa. Like this one, the upper one will be the gift card and the lower one will be drive in movie night. You know what I mean? It's funny because I feel like people would assume based off my like job and my personality and whatever that I'm crafty, but I'm actually not very crafty. Okay, sorry, Max is eating, but we got the first page. So we got the little gift card, one hour pickleball, and then the little QR thing and all that kind of stuff. That's the first page, however many more to go. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna do one on each page so that you can just keep flipping instead of like back to back, if that makes sense. Which one next? Maybe the drive-in movies. Let's do that, that's fun. I finished it. And for some reason, while doing it, I've got the worst headache ever. So I need to go find some medicine, but I just need to make some sort of cute first page. I'm gonna leave that for when I'm probably at my parents' house, but you wanna see it? One hour of pickleball at Bolden Acres. Rooftop drive-in movie. Grab a coffee and walk South Congress. That's my favorite page. Look at how cute the little Stickers turned out. Um, practice your swing at the driving range. A late night slice, that one turned out cute too. The ones that I was able to like get little things from them to cut out, <clears throat> turned out cutest. 18 holes each. Um, buy picnic food and take to Zilker. Admission for two at Cidercade. One and a half hours of ax throwing. Jordy sponsored some of these. And hashtag marks. <laughs> so. That ended up working out really well. And it is officially like five, a little after five, I think. I am going to start all of my, well, my evening computer work for the day. Got a few hours, make some dinner, and then I have a FaceTime date with Jordy. But this was a great, another Vlogmas day. Tomorrow we have a whole new one coming in strong. We're still going strong, guys. I love you. Thank you for being here. I hope you have the best rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Ooh, we have coffee plants. That's fun. I don't know beyond that. I can't really think very well right now. I'm gonna find medicine. I love you. Bye. Drove to the suburbs with our Christmas lists. Waiting for parking, you gave me a 